Welcome everyone. As you begin a new term, you may want to know how to take information from a previous Canvas course and import that into a current Canvas course. And to demo that, I have created an example and I've just called it import example right here. And this course is a blank shell. This is how all of your brand new Canvas courses will start. They will be a blank shell. They will look just like this. And I'm going to take information from a previous Canvas course and bring it into this course. So I'm going to choose the import existing content option right here. Import existing content and that is on the home page. And I will select that. And then from here, I have the drop down, and I'm asked to select one of several options. And the option that I want is copy a Canvas course, the very first option, copy a Canvas course. And from there, I will be asked to search for a course. And I will type a few characters to bring up the name of that course. So let's say that I want to bring in my demo course. I'm going to type demo. Now I have several demo courses, and I'm looking for the correct one. And your classes are going to have a term. These all say default term, so that's going to be one clue. You're going to look for the correct year and the correct semester there. In this case, I'm just looking for the correct year, so I'm going to do the 2020-2021 demo course, and I'm going to select that. Once I have chosen the course, I'm then asked if I would like to choose all content or only specific content. If I select specific content, it is often confusing because it doesn't ask me the content that I want to select right now. I actually get to the very end of the process, and then at that point I'm asked which items would I like to bring into the new course. So just be aware, you will get that the very last step. You will be asked to choose the items you want. It's very easy to just check or uncheck the ones you don't want. I'm going to choose all content for the simplicity of the demonstration. And under options, I also have the ability to adjust the events and due dates. So if I choose that, I can choose to shift the date. So if I'm importing a first semester class into another first semester class, I can change the date, you know, move it up by a day or back by a day or whatever, however the semester changes from year to year. Or second semester, the same thing. I can also choose to remove the date. So if I'm choosing a, teaching a first semester class in second semester or vice versa, I can remove the dates and just create new due dates for the assignments that I am going to bring into the course. So I'm going to remove the due dates and then I'm going to select import. And your job will be queued right here and then it will begin processing. And this may take several minutes. It may take... Uh, quite a few minutes. I've seen it take up to 30 minutes, but usually five to 10 is the absolute most that it's going to take. And once that has begun, then uh, the process will run. And once it runs, I'll show you what to do after that. Okay, you can see that mine is now completed, and I know that because it has the orange and white completed. I do have 16 issues. I can click on those issues. Now, my demo course has a lot of random things in it, so these examples are probably uh, caused by missing links or things that I've experimented with. And you can see it looks like what they are, probably missing links. So I'm going to hide the issues. You can, they're there, so you can address them. That is a nice feature. But now if I go to my homepage, I should see the course as it is. So I just brought in my demo course, and it's now in this import example. And notice the course settings even change. So the items that are hidden in the navigation are hidden from students just like they were in the previous course. The modules are set up just like they were in the previous course. Uh, I'm going to have announcements. Now, people, you will need to add any students. Of course, if it's through the, if it's through the student information system, then you're going to have those added automatically. So if it is through Skyward, you don't have to worry about that. They will be there automatically. Uh, and from there, you will find the course is an exact duplicate of the course that you were trying to copy, and that's good. So if you have any questions about this process, please let me know.